Welcome to the Tom and Frenchie podcast. Oh, a bit of subtle pausing. It's Tommy's Dramatic. birthday today, yesterday. Yes, <laughs> I. Well, you don't know if people are listening to it in the past. That's true. You don't know? <laughs> I hope you survived the war, <laughs> just in case it was that. during that time. Oh, salad teeth's back. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> salad teeth. Salad teeth's back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I did not Would you have time. another salad? There was a bit of salad in I there. I had a sandwich. There was a bit of green Fuck in off. No. This is not the good start. Side, We're starting side. again. Other side. Uh, the Tom and Salad don't. Teeth podcast. <laughs> 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 so it's Tom's birthday, guys. He's turned 18 years old according to his uh, grinder bio. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um, what did you do for your birthday tea bag? Not much, man. I went... Um, to the movies, went out to dinner. That's um, the kind of things I like to do. I don't really like socializing. Oh, round of applause. Yeah, that was the wrong your one, birthday. wasn't it? Congrats on surviving another Thank year you. of litigations. Yeah, that's um, right. <laughs> adding allegations. No cases have gone through. If you'd like to wish him a happy birthday, guys, uh, please just... Do so in private. Do so <laughs> in the form of a like a, 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 a blood on a letter. Oh my right, God. happy birthday in blood. On right. a piece of paper and put it <laughs> under don't. his door. Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it's a happy message. Well, I guess. Yeah, okay. Or would you rather I'm going to, they, they write, I'm going to kill you in a nice like pink pencil. Probably that because there's less chance of somehow getting a paper cut and then getting their AIDS. Because a lot of our <laughs> listeners have all the viruses. <laughs> <laughs> they listen to this from hospital beds and <laughs> quarantined rooms. That's true. Okay. A lot of yeah. people in our COVID um I like a, you stopped short of saying a lot of our listeners have AIDS. You just went viruses. So Well not all of them have AIDS, but a large percentage. <laughs> a large percentage. There you go, guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. Oh, given how sick apparently you all are according to, to T Bag right. Tommy. Um I went and saw the new Saw movie. Did not know even though there was a No one did, because no one goes to the movies, but I did. And um, it's called Spiral, so it's like a spin-off. Oh, I don't like that. Chris Rock is the star. I don't like that at all. Yeah. Is it on a spiral staircase, or is it about spiral noodles? Spiral noodles. Oh, ah, okay, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I'm I didn't back. have many options, but I went with the closest. <laughs> um, yeah, Chris Rock, Samuel L. Jackson's his dad. Yep. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and, I thought um, they were the same age. No, Chris Rock looks fucking good. Yeah, because he's single again. He has a weird, um, like a kind of goatee thing, which is kind of shit, but he he's looks been good. He's work done. Has he? I reckon. Oh, I believe it. He yeah. was looking good. I believe that. Either that or they did that um, camera trick where they make him look young. Do you reckon he gets cut about Dwayne The Rock Johnson? Oh, because mm, he's The Rock, not Chris. Everyone knows him okay. as The Rock, and he's like, I'm The Rock. It's like, oh. no, you're Chris. Little Chris boy, little Chris. I'll tell you what's interesting. Mm. There's that new series out called The Young Rock or Young Rock, I think it's called. Yep. Who did it first? Chris Rock. Everybody oh, hates Chris. Oh, shit. I didn't think about that until just He's then. He's trying to steal He's his identity. He's stealing his identity. He's going to start doing stand-up. He's going to start losing weight and getting skinny. Wow. We, ac <laughs> we actually have a clip of The Rock doing stand-up. We're going to play it for you now. Oh, yep. Okay, here we go. Hey, everybody. It's me, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Woo. I'll tell you what's the... Uh, a man walked into a bar. A protein bar. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> Flex. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. That was yeah, just that a was little it. teaser. Thought he got 7 million likes on Instagram. Yeah, he's great killing it. opening. It's great. Great opening. So back to the film. It mm. was uh, called Spiral. Yeah, get this. Okay, I'm getting it. Now, if you go to like, say, the event cinemas, big chain in Australia, yep, um, you can see it in 4DX, and that's not um, DMX because he's dead. <laughs> 4DX. Yeah. Um, um, Do you know what that is? Well, I know Triple X is like all the rude movies, so I'm guessing it's even ruder than that. I wish. Mm. Kind of. Porn in 40X would be interesting. That would be good. Because, like, as they thrust, it's one of those ones where the chairs move. Yeah, you bring and your it own shoots out. Yeah, it shoots out water. Come. So, come, you can yep. do that. <laughs> Smoke. Wait, so, 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 <laughs> yep. not the porn version. No. The actual version yeah. shoots out water at you. Yep. What? 
water, uh, air. They can shoot. That's gross. Um, smoke. How do you know it just wasn't the dude in front of you farting? Because there was no one in the cinema, <laughs> but I would have been concerned if it smelled. <laughs> <laughs> and the chairs, the chairs moved. So I was watching. It was. I was like seeing saw. I was hoping like, you know, their fingers are getting pulled off. I'd get a cheeky pull on the finger, something like that. That'd be scary. Yeah, that'd be fucked. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. But go on, did it? No. But I've it was more intense because you'd be like, blah, 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 I think I remember like that from around. Movie World. I don't yeah, think it's, it's like a full. Like, but now you can see like mainstream films like that. I, don't I like, wouldn't do it. Normally. I don't like that. I don't like It was that. good for a novelty, mm. but it would be a lot if you did that every time. It made you a bit seasick and shit. Yeah, I don't think I like that at all. Yeah. So what. <laughs> What was it about then? Can you give us like a so, loose plot? No yep. spoilers? No, I'm going to tell you all the spoilers. Oh, no. no. There's no real spoilers. It's They have a twist at the end, but I won't go into that. Basically, it's well, the now normal. we know there's a twist. Fuck, Tom. Every Saw <laughs> movie has a twist. <laughs> I never watched them. What's it called? Spiral. That's a twisty beast. I've never... Okay, have you yeah, seen the noodle? Fair. That's fair. You think it's going to go noodles. straight? It just keeps going around. Yeah, twisty noodles. Um, yeah, it's kind of from the perspective of cops. So it's like... The things targeting dirty cops, the saw type character. Um, and it's a pig. If you were any kind of pastor, what would you be? <laughs> Great question. <laughs> I would be a... <laughs> I would be a ravioli because I've got a lot of filling. Oh, okay, yeah. I like that. Yeah. So you're a little bit plain on the outside, but inside, inside there's, a bit of, there's a bit of meat. Yeah. There's a no, little something extra. I'm actually a vegetarian one. It's just spinach and ricotta inside. <laughs> Yuck. Yuck. I was so with the Saw movies, how many are there? Fucking heaps. Like seven. eighteen? Seven. No, I'm just going with seven. Did they ever make one called this is a good idea? Seesaw. Mm, okay. So the dude gets trapped on a seesaw and no, it's a kid. Sits on the seesaw, yeah, gets stuck to it, super glue, and then he hears a voice. Now we're going to play a little game. Oh. Or however it goes, and then it happens in a kid's park. Like a fat kid comes and sits on it or something. He's like, no! He gets shot up a little bit. That's the first one. Yep. I don't, I don't know exactly the Saw movie, so I can't parody this concept too well. You've mm. seen them, so mm. what else could happen? I was thinking, like, what would Saw look like if, um, if you got... In a sore situation. So what normally happens is someone will fucking knock you out, French. You'll be walking home. Someone yep. chloroforms you. Yep, normal. You wake up in a black room, kind of like what you do with dates. And, um, <laughs> That's not true. No, what? Um, you wake up and then you turn on like you see a little tape recorder or maybe a TV and it turns on. And in this one, it was like a pig face. Normally, it's the puppet. Oh, this was like that's a pig what face Because it was okay. targeting cops. Okay. And for some reason, it sounded a bit like Kermit the Frog in this one. Oh, nice. So it'd be like, hello, Frenchie. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Kermit? Yeah, it's me, Kermie. You've been, you've been living your life like a... You've been thinking you're funny. Yeah. Now, now who's going to be laughing? Probably, probably still me. No, you can't talk back. This is a pre-recorded video. Well, I'm no, well, you can't Frenchie. stop me talking if it's pre-recorded. You don't know when I'm going to talk. For years, Frenchie, okay. you've been drawing on abs and yep. pretending that you're ripped. <laughs> but now your abs will need to save you. Uh, In front of you. Oh, fuck. Well, I don't know. There's a hundred AIDS-filled syringes. Oh. And to get out of this trap, you have to do a sit-up into the AIDS needles. Otherwise, this pair of scissors is going to sever your spine and you'll die. What are you going to do? You got two minutes. Oh, fuck. Can I find a friend? No. 50-50? No. Um, oh, well, I'm going to ask the audience then. No. No, I still got that one left. No, you don't. Well, how do you know? AIDS needles are coming. Oh, fuck. I got two minutes, but I'm going to use up those okay. two minutes. And You've either got to do nothing or get AIDS. <laughs> oh, <laughs> those are your two <laughs> options. Well, there's always a third option. You haven't realized that. Oh, mm. what is it? Oh, I'm about to cook some spiral needles. Chris Rock's going to come through the door and spiral go, Spiral needles? Do you smell what the Chris is cooking? Because he's reclaiming that. Oh. And, and he's going to fuck you up, Kermit. Oh, no, but I'm oh, just on a TV. Who, who am I messaging right now? Oh, Miss Piggy. Oh, you up, no, Miss Piggy? Please. Oh, please I'm going to FaceTime her. Yo, Piggy, what's no, up, stop. you beautiful slut? Stop it, Frenchie. Yeah. Don't show her the abs. I'm going to show her the abs she, and she's going to leave you for oh. me. Once I show her, let me out. Let me oh, out. No, oh, okay, okay. Cock shot. Damn it. 
One nil to French. Damn it. Play again, Kermit, anytime you want. Mm. So oh, yeah. fuck, we're just in my room. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a pretty accurate depiction of the whole film. That's sick. I like that. That's yeah. fun. That yeah. is fun. I would like to be on Saw. I think maybe it's because I just like being the center of attention sometimes. Yeah. If I haven't had enough of it, like being on stage enough that week, I'll probably like be like, It would oh, be fuck, kind of flattering. It's like, fuck, flattering. you made this c- contraption to kill me. All for me. Like oh, I thought I was me. just going to get hit by a bus, but this is no. this is impressive. There's a billion people in the world and you chose me. I'll tell you what the first one are is. Are we best friends? I forgot how fucking gory those movies are. The first like death setup, he's got some kind of thing clamped on his tongue. Or, like his tongue. Oh, uh, mouse trap. Like pretty much. Mm. He's hanging up on like a box. Yep. And his options are to jump down or tear his whole tongue out. But okay. there's a train coming and he's only got seconds to decide. So he's going to jump and just pull his own tongue out or get hit by a train. What would you do? Oh, uh, yeah. Is beating off an option? Sure. <laughs> it's always an option. <laughs> no, you beat off quick. Boom. Spunk hits the train driver window. He swerves to avoid like it. Spider-Man. He doesn't know what's coming at him. Yeah, he can't see. Literally. Swerves off the tracks. Train doesn't come through. Then you buy yourself a few seconds. Then what? Start doing tongue ups. Working on that tongue. Getting that strength what? up. You do enough, your tongue gets strong enough. Mm, snap the thing. Snap. Now your tongue's super strong. That kind wow. of comes on the TV screen again. You make out the TV screen. Uh, put your tongue through it. Pull him out of it with your tongue. Wow. Game over. That is good. Wow. <laughs> you should write plots for those series. That would be amazing. I'd like to write a horror film. I think it'd be easy. Slender Man. Yeah. No, no, not Slender Man. That's been done. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to star in it as That's well. That's been done. We've had a few discussions about, about horror films. It's actually quite easy. Most horror films, like, they, they you get a one twist in, you're like, right, the twist, done. Then you just make it scary. A few people die, a bit of blood, piece of piss. You don't watch horror movies, though. Yeah, I still be able to do it. That's how easy they are. No, you'd be too scared writing it. You wouldn't be able to sleep for days, Frenchie. You'd be like, this is spooky. But if I write it, I know it's not real. What if it starts happening? Fuck. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's been going on with you, mate? <laughs> you um, I visited my gran uh, yesterday. Oh, was this when you went to the fucking 50th? Was that? No, that's this oh. weekend. That's coming oh. up this weekend. My gran's in the dementia ward. She's uh, oh, shit. getting more dementia Did she know who you were? I don't know. She Mum visited a day. She's like, do you, do you remember who visited yesterday? And she didn't say anything. She goes, it was your favorite grandson. No, she's like. Matt? <laughs> <laughs> Matt from Matt's No, apparently chat? she goes, was it Ben? And um, so I don't know, but I feel like your mum made that up for sure. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> That's a classic. Because she didn't um like res- give me much when I first went in. I started, I started Getting being bored. very loud. I was like, I'm gonna make her notice me. I don't care if she's had a stroke or sleeping. It's gonna. Well, I'm gonna get a smile out of her. I'm gonna get a laugh. Like what? What were you doing? Were you doing your routine and shit? Oh yeah, I was working. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. was like crowd work in the room. I was like, oh flowers over here. Yeah. <laughs> Is it your birthday? No, I remember when I got flowers. Um, <laughs> uh, bought them myself and gave them to myself. If what's, you, what's that, Gran? You want me to do a shoey? <laughs> what's that? You want me to do a shoey? Yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I was that's crushing good. it. That's good. There was one time I was yawning. Because I was getting tired there. I was doing silly noises, trying to see if she Oh, was. no. And I was like, ow! Because I was just, I do make noise when I yawn. <laughs> Two of the staff came in oh thinking no. it was her. <laughs> well, that's right. <laughs> like, what's wrong in here? I'm like, I'm just, I was just yawning. You're good. You're so needy for attention. You were like pulling out her plug and shit just so people <laughs> came to see you. No, I just wanted my grand to notice me. That's all right. I just wanted to put a little smile on her face. <laughs> We did the crossword around her. She threw out a few answers. Yeah. Completely wrong. Yeah. But we, I was like, yeah, that's a good guess. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> Seven letters type of hairstyle. Letters? <laughs> yeah. No, that makes no fucking sense, you idiot. <laughs> Jeez. Chris Rock. <laughs> you think I get o- old and wise. No, nope, old and dumb. No. Try again, granny. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, that was what I did. And then I actually... Uh, my mate Scotty, friend of the podcast, uh, he'll mm. be listening to this. I went and visited him on um, Saturday. We watched his kid play rugby league. Oh, wow. He's uh, getting dementia too, isn't he? <laughs> probably. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been, you wouldn't have, have you ever been to kids rugby league Absolutely games? not. Holy shit, bro. Half the kids, not in that team, but in every other team, had mullets. 
Really? Yeah, but not like stylish mullets, like mm. dad mullets. Like dad, Whoa. you're the Clippers, shave yeah, the head. You know they let's didn't. Go. The mums didn't do it. It was sick, and yeah. they all. I feel like they play better with the mullets too. Like you don't want to tackle a kid with a it's mullet. It's more aerodynamic as well. Yeah. yeah, you don't want the sides. You can fly. Yeah, you want. And then you're slippery. It's like, like a, a spoiler at the back. Mm. Mm. It's like the Nimbus three thousand. Were there bro. any big Tongan kids or anything? Just smashing them? Um, not as many as I thought, but I was down like Jerangong way. Yeah. Mm. So um. Uh, so that's like a like small surf footy, right? You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Mm. So that was kind of my weekend. But um, whoa. So his other kid tells me this joke. Then I hit her back with a joke. She doesn't think it's funny. I'm like, and I'm, I'm a go, professional <laughs> failure. I'll go. I'll tell you her joke. We'll see if you think it's good. <laughs> okay. She goes, "Hey, Frenchy." I go, "Yeah, what's up?" She goes, "Why? Why did the koala fall out of the tree?" Mm. I go, why? She goes, because it was dead. I start laughing. I go, that's pretty good. Mm. That's not bad. It's you know what I mean? I heard, it, I heard it before. I'm not going to lie to you, but still good for you. She's yeah. three years old or whatever. Four, I don't know, kids' ages. She might have been nine. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I've got a good one. Why did the, the little boy fall off the swing? You know this one? I was like, because he had no arms. Mm. It's funny. It's yeah. funny. She goes, that's not funny. Oh, cold out. <laughs> Get wrecked, bro. <laughs> I go, you want to, <laughs> I said, you want to heckle me? I'll fucking, I'll take you down, bitch. Yeah. Yeah, and I just, just roasted her the yeah. whole, t- the whole time. <laughs> no, I didn't. You should have. <laughs> oh, look at you. Look at that fucking ratty hair. You just start going in on her, paying out her outfit and shit. <laughs> I've been mad. Right, but I've got um some conversation topics for you. From um from from my life, I just write them down now. I'm like, I want to talk with this about Tom. Okay. If you're going into an area where your friend lives, let's say it's half an hour drive away from your house, sure. or more, yeah, do you have to contact them? You're not going to see them. You're just in their area. Should you contact them? You should, but I wouldn't. Well, you're wrong. I think you have to 100 percent of the time. Yeah, but. You're, you're odd. I think it's a respect thing. I think if you know your mate lives in that area, you say, hey, man, I'm in your area. Don't have time to hang. Here's a photo of your house. Respect. Have a great day. It's kind of like, don't you think? So if I'm in the city, you kind of live almost near there. Yes. Do I have to tell you? I get insulted when you're in my like area and you're not, you don't tell me. If I see you on a story having a coffee near my house, I'll be like, what the fuck is Tom <laughs> doing there? Don't you get I'm it? definitely going to start doing that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? What? Yeah, I hate it when I see, funny. even if my mates go down, like people like near where my parents are living and they don't even, I say, you need to tell me if you go near my parents. That's my hood. <laughs> <laughs> That's my hood. It's like a gang territory thing. Frankly. Yeah, right. I think it's a respect Sometimes thing. I'm like, if I don't, if I go somewhere, I don't have time to see that person. Mm. I'm not going to tell them because then they're like, oh, cool. Do you want to grab a coffee? No time. <laughs> well, you, that's why you go, when you tell them, you go say, I don't have time. But I'm mm. in your area. I can smell you. Say something nice like that. Okay, yeah, right. Other thing I wanted to ask you. Mm. Should you tell them, uh, the person you're making love with? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's wow, a bit that similar. took a twist. <laughs> Is this spiral? <laughs> wow. Um, should you tell people when you're about to come? Ooh. That's a good question. I think if they're... Um so I haven't had sex with uh, enough dudes to know. Uh, I reckon some people would do it 100% of the time. Some would do it 0%. What is the etiquette here? You haven't had enough sex with dudes. <laughs> I was joking. But <laughs> well, I've had you s- can relate because you've had sex, right? Hmm? Have you had sex? I before? have had sex, okay, exactly. Okay. So I know what I do. Yeah, well, obviously, Generally that's, that's I like the point you come in for relatability. You don't have to have had sex with a dude to answer the question. <laughs> no, but I'm saying... <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, I reckon, hey. I reckon some would do it every single time. Like, real polite dudes would be like, I'm about to I'm about to come, just so you know, be ready. But some wouldn't do it at all, like, be a surprise. What, what's the etiquette? Does it depend on the position? Well, yeah, I think if it's like a blowjob and you're about to fucking fill her mouth, it might be nice to let her know. I feel like they want a surprise. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. And then can't they feel that it's like going to be like quicker? I guess it depends if they like Jack in the boxes. (laughs) (laughs) There's a bit of anticipation. (laughs) They're a bit anxious. They're like... (laughs) 
Oh, they don't know. Um, Sam, can you do a, um, a survey on our Instagram story for the ladies? And we'll say, should guys say when they're about to come? Is this during sex or? During sex. Let's okay. go during sex. And then BJ's is, that's a different, that's a different thing. Hand jobs definitely no. You just fucking go. You just got to catch it. It's good for the reflexes. Catch it? <laughs> yeah, the girls, the girls have got your dick in one hand. They got the fucking baseball mitt in the other, full of tissues. I know what and they jerk do. you off and then they try to catch it. It's just, oh, it's, it's a, like fun a fun game. game. Damn, yeah, it's cool. a game. I like to get them to have those, you know, those sticky hands that you like hit oh, against walls. Oh, perfect. Get them with one of those and they just fucking catch it. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, that's, fun. that's fun. Yeah, but what about <laughs> sex? What do you think? I don't know. I guess. I guess it depends, it depends. with condom and no condom too. Yeah. If you've got a condom, you generally don't because you try to get a few extra bumps in. Try to do it a little minute longer. Yeah, true. <laughs> try you, you try and double your time. Try double your time. <laughs> <laughs> you try to right, row right out the calm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep going until it, it just flops out because it's so soft. No? But yeah, it must be <coughs> no condom. Do you tell them? Do you tell them? Mm. Generally not. They'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good chat. Um, <coughs> so some exciting news. Okay, go on. For a lot of people are starting to jet set around Australia again. A lot more um, borders are open and all that shit. If you're on a Virgin plane and you're like, I could listen to some great uh, comedy. Mm. Guess who's on there now? Oh, uh, Hamish and Andy. Probably. Uh, Rove. Probably. Uh, Dave Hughes. Maybe. Jimmy Fallon. Nope. <laughs> Who then? Tom and Frenchie podcast. Oh, shit. You can listen to us on a plane. We are on Virgin Flight, ladies and gentlemen. Started from the bottom. Now we're her. Just in case this episode gets on there, let's say some stuff that shouldn't be said on a plane. I've got a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Al Qaeda, 9 11. I'm uh, me sitting here next to you. I've got a bomb. <laughs> I shit myself. Uh, oh, so, so this is like the people so the person next, next to them came out here through the earphones. All right, I know you're listening through the headphones, but stab the person next to you. <laughs> no, that's not. Yeah, no, that's okay, good. No, yeah. that's not. That's okay, not. That's good. Yeah, stab him. Keep stabbing him. Stabby, stab, stab, stab. If I fall asleep, don't wake me up for the meal. Oh, I've got a good idea. Now let's make them think that they're listening to porn on the plane. Okay. Oh, you're the biggest. You're the best. Oh, come for me, donkey. Donkey sex with a man. And then Tom Armstrong's getting in on that donkey. Ooh, ooh. I'm Tom Armstrong. I'm about to suck this donkey's dick. Don't tell me when you're going to come, donkey. Ooh, ooh. Tom Armstrong. <laughs> I wasn't going to join it. Just to stitch you up. It's not a stitch up because you're the one who had yeah, sex with the it donkey. Yeah, it <laughs> You were going to leave me hanging doing the noise. Yeah. And then I saw that in your eye. I'm like, fuck you. You're joining in then, cunt. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty funny. That's cool. Because oh, they, they were like throwing it around like last year. Like, oh, would you be interested in getting on the in-flight? I was like, yeah, that's yeah, funny. I, that. I was like, are they going to listen to us? Because there's no way they're going to approve it if they do. And obviously they don't listen to the podcast. No, they, they just don't. In. They don't. So there you go. Family friend said they saw us on there. Um, if you're on a flight, please take a photo of it yeah, for please. us or, or spread the love somehow. That yeah. would be very Or if excited. you're a flight attendant, take a photo for oh, us. Oh, yeah. Of what? Of what? Of, take of, of the podcast. Of the podcast, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Almost. I'm a bit horny today. You are, aren't you? <laughs> a lot of sex talk from Frenchie. He's firing up over here. I'm a horny boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, oh, here's a new segment for you, Frenchie. Mm, new segment time. So, so this is our friend... Uh, and uh person who runs our socials, Sam Davis, he came up with the idea. Me and him both like the podcast Kill Tony, mm. where people, I was on it, we talked about it ages ago, but if you don't know, they people come up and they do a minute of stand-up comedy. They get drawn out of a hat and you do a minute of stand-up comedy and a couple of our Patreon Discord members have sent through, no a, way. Sent through a minute of comedy and this is our debut so, called Kill Frenchie. So we should say, I think you started this because we're not sure if it's getting cancelled or not, so we wanted to keep the memory going. 
Yeah, is that kind of like that? It's out of res- we're not ripping it off. It's out of respect to till kill Tony. Yeah, yeah I just yeah, said we like, like an om- It's an homage yeah. to kill. Okay. I don't th- like who sent it in. Oh uh, God. So we got oh God. <laughs> this is gonna be good. So this is our uh, friend from Michigan who's a big uh, submitter. Have you heard it? I haven't listened to any oh, of these. Sick. So this could be disastrous. Let's see. Um, this is gonna be. This is gonna be a vibe, open guys. In this is gonna be a vibe. Okay. How do I open this? Um, Can I open it in? Save to Dropbox and then I'll open it in Dropbox. Yeah, nice. That'll work. Sorry, Maybe you guys. should have listened to it. Maybe no, I think it's more fun to get my... No, no, no. Uh, I just mean like get it ready. It's just a professional thing. It's not oh, big okay. You're busy with a donkey. We know what's going on. <laughs> donkey well, Frenchie, you were too horny to do it. So mm. here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Time to roast Frenchie. I've never smelled roasted llama. I reckon it smells like <laughs> shit. Speaking of shit, Frenchie, what is up with those abs? People always say six pack, but there's at least eight or ten. I don't know if you're just bad at maths, but I do know that mathematically speaking, both of your eyes are equally fucked. <laughs> Anyone who is a fan of you knows that you're a huge Harry Potter nerd. When Frenchie went to Hogwarts and he put on the sorting hat, the fucking hat overdosed on ketamine before it could say Hufflepuff. <laughs> Deep fat fried roasted Tom time. No pun intended because he's the fat one. It's just a coincidence. I wasn't expecting to do both of you at the same time. Hopefully it doesn't go on for over a minute. Tom knows what I'm talking about. That's exactly what he says to the kids he has locked in the basement. Tom's attitude towards sex is just like an item checkout fast lane at the grocery store. It has to be 11 or less. When Tom Googles children's gap, he's not thinking of the clothing brand. That's good. I didn't that know it was, was going to be a roast. Awesome. I did not know it was going to be a roast either. I thought it was a <laughs> stitch up at first, and you were like secretly telling them just to roast me. Did no. he send? Oh, he sent in a second. No, no. That I watched that one. That oh, was okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. That was fucking sick. Okay. This is from Tazwa. Thank you, Odd God. Okay, Tazwa. Let's go. All right. Sorry. Oh wait, wait, wait. Um, we need wrong? we need to review it. We don't just laugh and move on. Don't no. don't know we get to review it. That's not. They usually have a conversation with the person. Well, we can have a conversation here. about it. Sure, go talk. Then. No, we'll do it the next time because now I've forgotten everything. You didn't have anything. I have it all. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, this one's coming. <laughs> here. We go. Jesse is what it says. Jesse's joke. Here we go. Twenty twenty six seconds. Kept I'm it short. Excited. It's real. So I've been doing a lot of jujitsu lately. Brazilian jujitsu, that is. And, um, you know, it's great for, you know, muscle strength, hand strength, you know, mental mental ability, you know, getting past people's, um, you know, guards and stuff. But my only, only issue is that I have too much pride. Uh, you know, I don't like to tap out. So you could say that me and George Floyd have something in common. There you go, Tazwa. Tazwa. That is uh, not a bad joke. No, mm. Long setup. Long setup. Mm. How would you uh, say it? Um, I don't think I would say it. How would you say it? Uh, I didn't even know who you saw. What about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu? I was like, I think you should uh, trim your eyebrows. I'm just looking at you right now. Got the John Howards on, do I? Yeah, mate. Got you can trim those with scissors, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not how you trim eyebrows? Or how yeah, else no. would you do it? Do you trim yours? Yeah, you got to look at those things, bro. You They're trim your eyebrows. You have to. That's why well, I'm saying. You don't have to. It's you're not looking, a fucking you're law. You're like fucking Donald it's Sutherland. It's not a fucking law. You should. Or what? And become more good looking? Unnecessary. Can you even see? Why would I need to trim my eyebrows, bro? Because you're looking through them I'm right now. I'm a 10 now. already. You want me to be an 11? The fucking 10 inch <laughs> eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have a look now. They're long, bro. These ones are like yeah, under I mean, your actual supposed eye to be. It means you're wise. I'm like a fucking owl cunt. <laughs> Frenchie's currently looking at his phone to check out his caterpillars. Okay, Tom didn't know who George Floyd was, so he's trying to deflect and turn it on to me. That's what's happening here, and I know it is. Nah. My moustache is way worse. I need to trim that first, bro, and then my You need beard. to sort your face out. Yeah, I do. Didn't you say your girlfriend does it? Uh, my moustache. Yeah. Yeah. She, she sits on it. <laughs> Let me see what's left moustache, after it. Moustache no, right. Moustache right. She sharpens the paws. <laughs> I can't say the first killed. That was a bit underwhelming. Was that only two? Frenchie. There was only two. One went for 26 seconds. Oh, good thing we've got another one here. It's The Rock. He's back to no. kill Frenchie. Jesus Christ. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've given up on this episode. That's uh, the energy. I'll, I'll bring in. Me. I've been meaning to do. Oh, actually, I'll bring it in. I'll bring in all my um first, uh, my first joke book. I'll bring that in and do that. One, oh, yeah. one joke of those. I think I did that once, didn't I? No, you talked about it, but you never did I've it. I got my first joke book I wrote from like 15 years ago. So I'll bring that in and we'll do all my bad jokes. I love that. Okay, one, one an episode. Yeah, all right. so bad. Let's get into this. We wanted to do it last week, but we ran out of time. This is how a lot of people compare us. Oh, what the fuck? That's the wrong article. That scared me. I was looking for um, different things between Australian schools and American schools, and I accidentally opened our article, Black (laughs) Scooby-Doo Burglar Wore Lifelike White Man Mask Complete with Fake Hair and Glasses to Commit 30 Burglaries Across LA. It kind of scared me because that picture is a bit creepy. (laughs) That's the sequel to White Chicks, I'm pretty sure. That is sick. It's White Dicks. Bro, I love that. It's White Dicks. That is That is terrifying, though. 30 Burglaries. Burglaries. Oh no! That is add that fucking so good. But you like you should wear a mask to do a, a burglary anyway, bro. Um, he looks terrifying because it's like a silicon mask. Yeah, he looks kind of like looks like eye doves. No, he kind of looks like eye doves <laughs> <laughs> when he's got the mask on. <laughs> a black man is accused of using a lifelike white man. Is it lifelike? <laughs> it's just white. It's pretty lifelike. Okay. That's what we look like. <laughs> it, sh- it should have some more dimension to it. It's one shade across the whole face. No beard, nothing. It just There's no skin change. It's just like cream head. Cream head. Cream head. Rock'em Prowell. That's a good name. 30 was pulled over in Beverly Hills on May 2nd and police found the mask and other items that connected him to two Beverly Hills burglaries. That's sick. Police ex- executed a search warrant of his home and found other items that connected him to dozens of other break-ins. I do like that. That I, is I'd a like good to think plot for a movie, bro. Mm, you're going to write a horror movie? It's White Chicks 2. Oh, it's, it's White just Chicks white Part chicks two. 2. And then the cops have to go undercover as white dudes to catch the... <laughs> other dude who's <laughs> undercover as like, a white dude. <laughs> so black cops go undercover yep. as white dudes. Yep, to, to befriend. Okay. <laughs> the black And then dude? it's like a full gang of uh, of black guys dressing up as white guys <laughs> to commit robberies. It's but then all, the twist is... The twist is... That they're actually white dudes with <laughs> black masks, but... Then and then they do over the top. That is, that, a that is a huge twist. That's a spiral. I love that. And the actor is Chris Rock oh, yeah. in Whiteface. Wait for this next twist. Yep. Okay, that's the twist. But that's the forty-five minute twist. Another twist. Twenty minutes later, they're vampires. Whoa! Mm. And it's Robert Pattinson. Yep. And Kristen Stewart, and but black versions. And Rob Schneider. But he's actually <laughs> a carrot in a human mask. <laughs> Damn, that's okay, good. we've spun off, guys. We've spun off. This is a kooky episode. I'll tell you that for free. Now I don't know where the original thing I wanted to open was because this article's. Lego finale tonight, guys. It's going to be hype. Lego finale. You know how You're we did? Obsessed, we did the poll, and everyone said Lego was cool. So mm. I would like a public apology on no, the podcast. I want a second poll. You need a public apology I want a on the podcast. Poll. Outside of our podcast, are our podcast listeners nerds? <laughs> Answer, probably. Oh, you're just throwing all <laughs> kinds of shots at him, bro. <laughs> I turned on I'm him. about to be the favorite after this. It's, yeah. It was you till to this episode. I, I don't, don't know anymore. So. It definitely was. Okay. Let's get down to serious business, okay, Frenchie. Hear me, hear What's me, your baby. star sign? <sighs> I forgot. I'm a Taurus. Are you a Taurus? Oh, yeah. We're both Taurus. We're both Taurus. That's it's boring. Good. No, it's good. It's a bit boring. Okay. Your season is sadly coming to a close this week, but not to worry, as Gemini season kicks off on Thursday. Why the fuck would I care about Gemini season? Why would you tell us about that? Yeah, what and the brings, fuck? And brings with it uber powerful energy and a chance to kickstart some major plans you've been dreaming up lately. Nope. Any passion projects you've been working on could sh- be a surefire hit, mm. so don't drop the ball. What if someone's like working on committing genocide? And they read their horoscope and they're like, that's my passion project. i got to do it. And this horoscope literally just makes them start genocide. Well, they're going to have a very fruitful month. <laughs> Many corpses to be They need to be, to be careful with what they're fucking throwing out there. That's all I'm saying. All right. That so was the most vague that out was of bad. any horoscope that I've ever bad. fucking read in my life. That was a bad one. It was like... Your fucking horoscope season's up, but here's what's going on with Gemini's. Here's what's going on with Sagittarius. They're going to find a fruit roll up at the bottom of their school bag. All right. Should we give anyone else there? Nah, horoscopes fucking suck. 
All so right. I'm a Can yes man. Can you do man. a story then, bro? Yeah, bro. Fucking hell, shut down my I'll shit. Fuck but you're bringing you nothing. Up. I will except fuck your fucking you up. caterpillar vision. Where can this you story's do? about hair. Oh no, that's me eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> strange, <laughs> strange. We are gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. What is he? What am I fucking? I was looking for the quick hitters. I don't even know where they fucking are anymore. No, it's too early for quick hitters. It's not. We can do them whenever we want. Oh my god, we, we're running this. You do understand? You're struggling too. I'm. Um, yeah. Oh, here we go. Quick hitter time. Quick hit. Quick hit. <clears throat> if you could start a secret society, mm-hmm. what would it be called? Great question. Thank you. My secret society would be. Uh, It'd be a hide in plain sight thing. Mm. So I'd call it something that no one would want to join. Mm. Like um, daily marathon running vegans club cyclist fanatics. And we'd meet every week and no one would come. But so it'd stay hidden. Not like that. You could have just said cycling and no one. <laughs> no, those guys like to hang. Because <laughs> no one else wants to hang out with them. So they've got to hang with each other, don't they? Uh, mm. There you go. That's what? not bad. And what would you do? Uh, that wasn't the question. Okay, that's just what would it be called? <laughs> yeah. That's a long name, is it? Is it is it an acronym for short? Yeah, um, pussy. Okay, my secret society name. Wait for this. Mm. Kite club. Kike. Kite. I thought it was like a racial <laughs> slur of some sort. Kite. Kite. Okay. Kite. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Jesus, Frenchie. No. <laughs> Like Fight Club. Okay. But kites. Yeah. So it's just you and the guy from Mary Poppins. Yeah. Going, what a fabulous day. kites. That'd be sick. And we can't even talk about it. Because <laughs> that's the first rule. <laughs> that's the first rule of kite club. So you just go out. What if it's not windy? Then we just throw them. We just keep mm. throwing them up and going, fly. It's kind of like you're just walking a kite. We'll just walk a kite like yeah. a dog. Kite club. Okay. It's and it's more just what it was called. So... <laughs> What movie should be made into a musical? That's a great question. I love a good musical, but the problem is people try and make them after good movies. Mm. So I'd go the other route. I'd do like um, Jack and Jill, the musical. Oh, Adam Sandler's Broadway could it, debut. Could it get any worse? No. How would he play every character? Just a, either... Okay. Mm. You know that thing they do sometimes where they paint down the middle, so mm. half his face, makeup, <gasps> half his hair, long wig, and he turns on the side. Turns to the side. Yeah. That's Just really like, good. I am your sister. I am your brother. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be terrible. <laughs> Break Broadway history. I'd go see that. If they were like, Adam Sandler is on Broadway doing Jack and Jill the musical, I'd buy the whole front row. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I went along the same line, uh, sort of lines. I'd go Rob Schneider, any film. Probably The Animal. That was a good movie. Probably I didn't The Animal. It. Probably The Animal because then we can get to see him sing songs as animals. Mm. Um, any Arnie movie. That would be cool. There's a nice uh, crossover Arnie movie. You know Predator? Mm. Yeah, that, but starring Rolf Harris. Oh, <laughs> that's good. I would, I would love to see Arnie's accent in musical that's what i was thinking yeah like a german get to the chopper get to that's the chopper right. <laughs> get to the chopper get to the chopper it's not the like tuna it's yeah. not the tuna tuna it is not it is not a tuna <laughs> <laughs> was that spot on i think it was like a deaf guy or something <laughs> i like it <laughs> i reckon the room you know the known worst movie of all time. That oh, I had great. that. Yeah. I was thinking that too. That would, actually be, that would cool. be all time. Do not hit her. I did not. I did not. I did, I did not. not. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I did not hit her. I did not. Hi, doggy. <laughs> I did not. I'd see that. <laughs> there we go. Um, and last one. <clears throat> Which animal would be super cool if it was made into the size of a horse? Great question again. You've got them all. Okay, hear me out. Mm. Um, a gerbil. Inside Richard Gear. <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> then it gets made big while it's in him. 
comes on and explodes out of him. Yeah. <laughs> Richard Gear pieces. Uh, thoughts? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess. <laughs> this is a hard one. Like, what do you do? I was thinking um, Shetland Pony. <laughs> just, I like that. So it's just normal. Well, I just think it would be cool the size of a horse. Yeah, it'd just be a, pretty much a horse. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll just be a bit off. You'd be like, yeah. oh, this so it looks a bit odd, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, I also had a monkey. Some monkeys are pretty big. They're not horse size. You don't reckon? No. Like a gor- oh, I guess I'm thinking gorillas. That's not a monkey. You're right. Uh, goldfish. Whoa. Yeah, that'd be That's sick. Epic. That's cool. I was thinking like it's not quite an animal, but like a, a genital crab. Yeah, so I, I want to okay. see what they look like. Yeah, same I, with nits too. Like I've I've felt them. Mm. I haven't seen them. You felt them in your in your mouth when you were in my mustache. <laughs> Itchy little fellas. <laughs> yeah, I was seeing the same thing with headlights. So if we could blow both of those up to the size of the horse, make them fight or fuck, they can pick. I think it'd be an interesting sort of scientific experiment. Do you reckon you could bash a giant goldfish? Okay. What about if... (laughs) Yeah, definitely. Okay. Because they also wouldn't remember they've been hit. So you walk up to it, punch it. It's like, I'm going to fuck you. Oh, how are you going? Bang, smack it again. Same combos as well. They'd never catch on. Never catch on. Left, right, left. Never catch on. Okay. (laughs) Every animal is the size of the horse, which is winning the fight. Every animal ever. Yeah, in the okay. world. Fuck. Some get shrunk, some get enlarged. Who's winning? And we're saying it's on land just to make things easier. Like a fucking pit bull or something would be pretty good. You think that's going to oh, beat like a, a gorilla lion. horse? A lion? Nah, a gorilla horse would beat a lion. You reckon? Maybe. <laughs> that's the game. Mm. Guys, if if there's any scientists listening with one of those rays that makes things really big from Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. <laughs> no, the opposite one. Honey, I Blew, blew the up. Kids. Blew the Kids. That was a weird title. <laughs> that was a weird Honey, title, I yeah. Blew the Kids. Rolf Harris was the executive question. producer. How many, which animals the size of a horse do you think you could beat in a fight? So we've got goldfish. We've, yeah. we've established that. Okay. Um, Worms, probably. Yeah. I don't feel like they can move on. They can't la- see. Oh, they can wriggle pretty fast on land, bro. They wriggle towards you, squashing you. Fuck, Like actually. anaconda you, like wrap you up. Fuck, actually, I don't think we could take a horse worm. I'm trying to think of like a bitch animal. Like a sloth are pretty slow, but they got big big arms. They yeah, got I don't reach. think they got the energy. They got big reach, though. But also, I don't, I don't know what they do upright, too. And they smoke pot. Have mm. you seen that ad, the stoner sloth? I think yeah. they smoke pot. I think you're right. Yeah. What would you be? I'm trying to think of pussy animals, like a hamster. I think anything the size uh, of a horse is going to be tough. I think yeah. everyone listening right now is trying to be like, you guys are dumb. What about, wait, if it's the size of a horse, fuck. It's pretty big. Yeah, that's a big, because well, that's bigger than us. What? Horses are bigger than us. Long ways. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Horses are definitely bigger than us. Starfish, I guess, because they can't move. Yeah, we could beat a starfish. Yeah, you're right. Unless it was like a ninja starfish. Oh, fuck. Yeah, and it was like rolling at you. Yeah, yeah. 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 (laughs) That's tough. (laughs) So far on the list, we've got starfish and goldfish. Mm. So this is not a good start. Okay. Okay, guys. What a riveting episode we have for you today. Okay. Tell us about the breastfeeding thing. Oh, bro. So it wasn't... It was just funny because I know it's not like a real story. It's just like... It's a storm in a teacup, this story. But I, as I do, I went through the Daily Mail mm. looking for what we can talk about. There's a photo. There's a photo. Maybe this is why I'm so horny today. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what, we can't tell our friends when we're horny? That's weird, bro. Grow up. It's more the context of why you're saying it. Tora Bright, weird. Olympian. I think a winter Olympian. Do you remember what she's famous for? I'll go with winter. Maybe she was like a skier or some shit. A snowboarder. She was a snowboarder. Mm. She posts a photo. (laughs) She's in her underwear. 
doing a handstand, but like just the bottom. Stand. She's got no shirt on. Just the bottom. She got no top yeah. on. Just the bottom. Doing a handstand, but like a handstand on her elbow, so she could like stay up upside down like for a, a while. Yeah, if that makes headstand. sense. Like a headstand. Yeah, headstand bracing with the elbows. Uh, <laughs> on the grass, and her backyard appears to be mountains behind her. Um, in f- in front of her is a, a toddler. He's crouching down. Uh, he's on his hands and knees, and he's sucking that titty, that upside down titty. And that makes you horny, does it, Fritch? <laughs> <laughs> Not the child, the other part. You fucking weirdo. Can someone Photoshop Frenchie as that child? <laughs> like, just Frenchie's face. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, I get, like, mothers have got to breastfeed, but, like, fuck, that's weird. Yeah, that it's is basically, a lot. that kid's going to grow up to be a frat boy because he's basically doing a kid's keg stand. <laughs> well, his mum's kind of doing the his keg stand. His mum's doing the keg and stand. And he's the keg. No. Gold medal winner. So she just needs something to get the adrenaline up, I guess. Gold and silver medal winner in the half pipe. Tora urged mothers to embrace our quirkiness after a photo of her breastfeeding. Oh, he's 10 months old in a headstand sparked online debate. I don't mind Dream. that she's doing it. If you want to put that around the world, though. Like, that's fu- that's kid. Like, it's interesting good choice. F- good for his 18th birthday. Like something yeah, to roast true. him about. True. Do you reckon the milk tastes different upside down? Do you reckon it comes out as smooth, or gravity plays a part? It's like a milkshake. It's like shake. It shakes it up. Oh no! Nice. Yeah, it's like you know. So if you have a milk, normal ways, pure yeah. milk, yeah. you have it upside down. It's like thick shake, like milkshake. Oh, it's wow. shaken up, bit Yum. of chocolate in it because it comes down from the other tract. <laughs> Got her. Someone, uh, some of the comments said, "Now that is a balanced meal." Oh, that is. See, that's hornier than me. That's gross. Yeah, I, I saw it on a Facebook, and some dude was like, "Can I go next?" And then all these women <laughs> were like, "You're disgusting." <laughs> like, he took a fucking risk with that comment. Uh, if, like. <laughs> It is a, it's odd behavior. It's unnecessary, but if that's yeah. what makes you happy, fine. Whatever, man. If that's what makes your kid happy, fine. Yeah. Trying to do it different ways, you know. You got to mix it up, literally. Try it sideways, try yeah. it upside down, do it all the, all the ways. Breastfeed all mm. the ways. Mm. Reading the comments made me sad. Bright wrote an Instagram story. Well, that's anything you post on the internet ever, so good luck Read with that. Read some of these for us. Um, <coughs> one awesome mama bear. Love her. Nice. How about, it's not about handstands and seeing how that child could actually lack on angry for likes. Yeah, that child probably can't even suck it properly, but like, it's just for, it's a cool photo. Yeah, I don't Do know. Do it for the likes. I don't know if she does it every morning. No, it's not like how like she In the does middle it. of the night, or oh, he's woken up, it's three in the morning and she fucking headstands it. It's not all about you, love, just feed your kid normally. Okay. Oh, well, that's a Karen comment. Oh. That's a... Strange take. Yo, <laughs> speaking of weird comments. Let's hear it. Remember, you had to tell me. You were like, have you seen all the uh, photos on your tampon video? All the comments. comments sorry. Yeah. Yo, so, Frenchie did a video on TikTok for context. We had a lot of um, tampons and pads if you listen to last week's show. And we were just trying to figure out how they work because we're pretty dumb. And um, after it, Frenchie had these t- pads and tampons. And a lot of you don't know this, but Frenchie actually doesn't have a vagina. Mm. Um, so he was like, what am I going to do with them? <laughs> so he decided to use them for another sketch. Yep. And so he wore, he recreated films with pads and tampons. Yep, right? me and my friends put them on like uh, we made swords out of them. Mm-hmm. We pretended to be Lord of the Rings characters. We'd yep. be like, you have my sword and my bow. And my axe. And but they were all made out of... They were all made out of pads and, and tampons. We did a Scarface scene mm-hmm. where I put a bunch of uh, uh, tampons on a plate. And, and I, you I snorted up snorted a bunch of them period up. blood. Yep. Yeah, we saw it. It. It's good to do it properly. I thought it was a funny little little skit. Oh, bit we're having silly. a bit of fun. Yeah. Bit silly. Yeah. Holy fuck. There is a female community that we did not know about. This is going to split the genders again, but Wow. The girls probably already know what all the comments are going to be. They're all probably thinking it right now. All the I guys like, so. what's wrong with that? Holy fuck. The TikTok fucking 
It's actually like the almost like the cancel. It's it, it's the virtue signaling part of TikTok. It's like there's a lot on TikTok. Real right? funny, but couldn't you have donated them to women less fortunate? Hashtag Women's shelters. And then they had that hashtag. It's like share the respect or something like that. Every woman deserves respect or some oh, shit wow. like that. It was it was like. Yeah, it's like, why didn't you donate them, you pig? And like all these comments, like they had hundreds and hundreds of likes and it was like the f- top six comments were like, why didn't you donate them? Oh yeah, just fucking taking the piss when women don't have pads or tampons. I was going to join in. <laughs> Do it, I don't care. I was about to join in, but Frenchie hadn't seen it yet. I was going to join into the hate. <laughs> well, apparently you can donate them. Okay, wanna, you want to know this? Guys didn't fucking know that. I had no idea you could donate pads and tampons. Did you know that? I think you can seems donate gross. anything, right? That well, not used gross. <laughs> well, okay, well that makes yeah. more sense. You don't want to. You can't just rinse them off. But like do you just condom. throw them to Vinnie's? Yeah, you just put them in the donation bins. You go down to the old lady working at Vinnie's and you try and put it up her. But is it? <laughs> <laughs> but is it? Do you have to insert them too? But is yeah, it like? Is this an Australian thing or an American thing? No, because I'm we f- get such like. You know how cheap they are. Tampons are like two bucks fifty for a box. And everyone's on benefits, so what they really can't afford them. But the thing is that, like, women, there are poor women out there, Frenchie. There's they, homeless it, women, and they still need tampons. But they still get like, don't they get like benefits? Not not all homeless people get benefits. Yeah, they Some do. Of them are mentally they challenged, and they can't. And they get mentally no. challenged benefits. No, because they they can't actually apply because they're just they don't have the capability of mind to do it i think they do bro okay well they should there we go well they should well they should okay you should you lazy but i didn't know there was (laughs) fucking donation bins for tampons because i've never fucking donation bins is that not yeah they're next to the toilet well how come the red cross comes around donating money why do you think they're called the red cross why is there not tampon collectors coming around picking them up well, I've never had them knock on my door. I go, G'day. <laughs> Hello. Me from the tampon collection agency. Okay. Can you put a tampon? Uh, can you spare any tampons? Um, how many How many do you need? We've got a lot of women in the world. There is a lot of women. Uh, pads or tampons? What do you, what do you need? Uh, whatever's your flavour. Um, I've got a few left over from a skit, but I was just going to throw them in the garbage. You were fucking going to what? And Trump? I'm still going to. What? <laughs> I'm calling the tampon police. <laughs> Bro, the outrage. It was, it was like very crazy. funny. I enjoyed it. I was like, do, is there like, do women like go do every, s- every week do, do girls buy a box of tampons and a box of pads and go down to the donation box and throw them in there? No, but I But like, that's what they were acting like. Like it's an obvious, well, how do you not do that? I'm like, I didn't even fucking know about it. I had no idea you could donate pads and tampons because I've never fucking bought them before. <laughs> So leave me alone. They really bullied me, Tom. (laughs) You know, you can donate anything. No, but where? You don't need to put it through like it's not one of those fucking children's toys where it has to be a certain shape to donate it. I donate to Vinny's a lot because I'm a hero, whatever. I'm a pretty selfless legend. They don't want your shit clothes, mate. They do, bro. They prefer your tampons. That's where I buy half my clothes. I'm just (laughs) giving them back. (laughs) But like... I don't know, man. I just didn't know it was a thing. But I, saying that TikTok's retarded. Yeah, you once they get that once word. they get on the once they get on the scene. No, because I did a video once, mm. and it was just me putting heaps of mayo on on a sub. Because you know, if you go to Subway, you go just a bit of mayo, and they fucking just like squeeze that mm. shit all over it. Yep. So I did that for a video where I put heaps of mayo on a sub, and everyone's like, "Yeah, funny, yep. but." Bit of a waste. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah. You ran into the waste crowd. Like, oh, sorry, mate. Do you watch fucking movies? Do you know how much, you know, that whole room they're in in that movie shot? They made that whole fucking room. They yeah. didn't go to a room and film that. They made that. Someone's job was to put that book there. They made that book just to put in that fucking room. Like, do you know how much billion dollars they waste in films? And you sit there enjoying it, you little fuck. Bit of a waste. That is. That sub cost me $7. Fuck up. This, bro. Bro, they're like crazy. Like, we're grinding here. We're hustling. And like, like, I'm trying to put, you know, how many fucking homeless people's subs you could have put mayo on? Mm. Yeah, hashtag share the dignity. It must be like a famous hashtag around the women's feminine products. So we Direct will share the dignity next time, this time. No, don't, don't okay. change your We're chin. not sharing Direct the dignity. Direct it down the barrel. What you think about them? So um, then writing those mean comments for, on your thing. Please don't. As funny as this is, laughter doesn't get you through not having enough money for sanitary products. Please do a video supporting hashtag share the dignity. Do, do one now for us. Um, share, do the dignity video for them. 
Hey, hey guys. Um, this Frenchie. is it's Frenchie here. I made a TikTok where I used pads and tampons as props. Pig. I made some into a sword. Some were a was a bow, and I pretend and my friend pretended to be an elf. It wasn't me. It. Some I pretended was cocaine, and I snorted tampons up my nose. Pig. Having never bought tampons or pads before, I didn't know there were people who did not have enough pads or tampons. And, and I didn't realize this was my chance to share the dignity hashtag. Nice. So next time I have the opportunity, I will definitely hashtag share the dig- dignity. I will bring pads and tampons to the world and also condoms. Share the dignity and... Sh- sh- I will also bring hot dogs for those who want a hot dog. And also beans. People don't have beans. Some people don't have hair on their head, so I will shave off my pubes and you can glue that on your head. I also... Well, no, I'm not finished here. I will also bring hummus, which is a delicious, tasty dip. (laughs) And I will have this hummus while I give out these things to other people. I just thought I was trying to make a funny skit, but uh, looking back on it, I am Jesus. Wow. The end. <laughs> wow. That was, um, that was I, beautiful. I got one of my comments I wrote back. Okay. This like I, I deleted some of them because I was like, fuck you, because they got heaps of likes before I noticed because <laughs> it was three days in. So I was like, I don't want you sitting on your smug chair just fingering yourself going, look at all the likes I got telling someone. To. Anyway, and this was like a nice-ish one. She was like, I reckon you should at least donate the same amount as what's used in this video. Comedy is good, but so is not wasting products like this. Too late. Like, there's not a limited supply. There's more. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a there's not a more. resource. It's not coal. Uh, but I wrote, well, laughter is the best medicine, so I think we made the right decision. So you can't argue that. I'm putting the best medicine out into the world. Pads and tampons, second best medicine. Mm-hmm. Just Nothing pl- like plugging a hole <laughs> with laughter. a joke. You know? <laughs> That's the moral of this podcast. <laughs> if you next time you've got your period, just chuck on the potty. <laughs> That'll fill <feel> something. <laughs> oh, funny. You never know which video is gonna get you the hate. You're just trying to make a That's little true. fun little comedy video. Think oh. of everyone. This one affects me, so I'm angry. Next time you choose props. This one affects <laughs> me. Right. How's, how's I did this other video? It was like this one. It was like to the 48-year-old MILF I met when I was at the club when I was 18. You know this, man? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll never forget you because you gave me herpes. Yeah. All the comments, very supportive of me because they think I got it. Yeah. I've got herpes. <laughs> Not Frenchy. You just know this is true. That's the highest comment. You just know this. I don't have herpes. Frenchy, it <laughs> seems like you're trying to defend it a little too much now. <laughs> We haven't seen them on your lips, so God knows where they are. <laughs> Butthole. <laughs> I did see a guy's um, TikTok and he was like, he thought he had a hemorrhoid. Mm. But it turns out it he got gerbil. a rimmy oh. from someone with a cold sore. Oh. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. No. You can get asshole herpes, bro. No. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh. No. Celebration. That's tough. That's tough. That's why you need a glad wrap your asshole before you get a ribby. Is that it true? Yeah, 100%. I use foil. Tin foil. Smart. Yeah. Smart. It's a bit more protective. It rips, tears easier though, but if it doesn't tear, you're pretty set. It's like my asshole. Rips and tears. Okay, moving on. Um, I like this <laughs> idea. I don't know if it was a true article, but it was in meme format from the Daily Mail. It said... Boyfriend who dated 35 women and told each one he had a different birthday so he regularly received gifts is arrested for fraud in Japan. I just love that as a concept. I hate that he got arrested for for hustling. I don't know if I'd consider that fraud. That's not fraud. Unless you're dating banks. I think if you're bringing like the <laughs> law into it, then I think if you're just telling a bunch of chicks on TikTok and t- TikTok Tinder that it's your birthday, I don't think that is fraud. Yeah, that's like it's just like that's like arresting a Nigerian princess for fraud. Do you reckon if you go, you know how sometimes? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I've really. All right, go on. Stepped on that. 
Um, that's <laughs> like, you know how sometimes if you're at a restaurant, one of your friends might stitch you up and be like, oh, it's his birthday. So they bring out a bring keg, out keg and, and sing to you. That shit's so funny. Imagine you're all laughing and then the police come in <laughs> and arrest him for fraud. Oh, oh, oh shit. It's not really his birthday. Yeah. Get on the fucking <laughs> ground. Show me your ID. We got a fraud star. It was last week. It's my birthday week. Not good enough. He's resisting. Kill the cunt. Push, yeah, push, I like push, push, push. Accomplice. Smack. Whoa. And they just fuck him up. Yeah, that's mad. That's hilarious. That's that a is good, a smart move. 35 birthdays a year. That's a good time. That's like the move you do like in high school is like you kind of, you sort of, there was a girl. I didn't do it. Oh, oh Maybe it was me. Oh no! Someone was dating a girl. Me or one of my mates was dating a girl. She had a birthday around Valentine's Day. Ooh. So you drop them a week before, break up, pick with them. up with a week back. That's just financial. It's savvy. Yeah. That's, That's what Gary V ta- teaches you. He would. <laughs> yeah. That's hustling. Right. Wonder what he was getting for his birthday. If he was just like getting cash. Yeah, I'd like to think. What so. if? But like, what if he got them all gifts for their birthdays? True. That would be, see, there you go. That's just fair. Yeah. If he's getting you one. Or he's just giving a mad pipe. Mm, <laughs> true. <laughs> no, good on him. <laughs> Set him free, whatever his name but is. Like if, but like if a girl dates 35 guys, they all get a birthday present at different times of the year. So she's she's stacked full of Tiffany's jewelry and Lit. Uh, the Sims programs. I don't know what girls like. That's basically it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's like hustling. That's feminism. I like it. I would it. be like, go get it, girl. Get your money, girl. That's what we would They'd say. Like, we would yeah. talk about it on the podcast and say, get your money, girl. We wouldn't arrest her for fraud. We'd say, those guys are fucking idiots for mm. buying you presents. Yeah. Yeah. Guys... I wish I knew his name so we could start some kind of freedom hashtag. Mm. But instead, um, go comment on Frenchie's tampon video <laughs> and tell him that he should have donated them. Yeah, we should do just some waste. <laughs> Let's do a whole series called Wasting Tampons. <laughs> <laughs> like, if we That's buy anything, right. can't we do whatever we want? Isn't that how, like, society works? Okay, here's your next video. I don't understand. How many tampons does it take to absorb a whole swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Let's do that. But like, That'd be a lot. if it's providing myself enjoyment in a form of a video, am I not allowed to do that with my own money? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. It was one one packet of each. I don't understand. I wasn't buying out the store and then laughing at girls. Is that, you know how people say, Frenchie, lo- there's like, if you do something and people die, there's blood on your hands. Yep. There's blood on panties. There's blood you. on your pants. There's blood on my pants. Mm. Mm. How would you like it? How would you like it? How would you like it? Okay. What's next? How are we doing for time? We're good. We got to get the period cup next time. Excuse me? You know how girls have the period cup? You've heard of that, surely. The thing that goes up them and catches the blood? It's a cup. I'm, I don't know if it, I don't even know if it goes up them. I might, that would make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon they walk around carrying it? <laughs> I thought it would like drip out like a... What, they know, know it's going to come out? No, no, no. I thought they would... Yeah, you make, you make some more sense that it would go up them. What? I didn't think about it. No, I thought it would be think attached. it's a little shot glass. I thought it would be attached by like a like a band around and around. Like and it would be holding at the, bo- out, out the out the end of the like cave. Like a cricket box. At the end of, yeah, like a cricket box. But just a big red cup. That's what I actually That's thought That's how red cups started, actually. The frat cups. There we they go. They started as period cups. There you go. Mm. Okay, here's a um, way to spot some Aussies overseas. Oh, easy. Okay, you tell me some. Well, you can't anymore. There's none there. No, they're still over there. Okay, go on. They're just stuck. They're doing it like a strain. Here we go. Fellas we're, are wearing shorts. Wearing shorts. Yeah, I was no matter say that. what the weather. Some shorts and the thongs. We're complainingly la- complaining loudly about the fact that we can't get good coffee like back home. Wrong. That's wrong. Why? Yeah, it's the sort... That's like a boomer shit. You know what I mean? Mm. If you're like a young going overseas, you're just looking for beers. True. You know what I mean? True. Or yeah. drugs. Oh, uh, that's this one's not even true. We mentioned Hungry Jacks and nobody has a clue. Oh, I'm over <laughs> in Italy. I'm craving Hungry Jacks. <laughs> Excuse me, Italian. Oh, too much do, you, pizza. do you know where the Hungry Jacks is, bruv? <laughs> oh, I'm in Mexico. I don't want tacos. I want a Whopper burger. 
<laughs> I knew oh, Jax is such a wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, I feel like a really dry <laughs> patty. <laughs> Do you guys have Hungry Jacks? I like Hungry Jacks, but it's just, you don't care. You get Maccas overseas. That's the one. You yeah. know, you're going to get a McDonald's. We're on our phones at weird hours, desperately looking up footy scores. Uh, mm, that's probably true for some people. Yeah, more like if you're going to be bothered to look up live scores, you'd probably be watching the game, to be honest. We've, this the sentence doesn't even make sense. We've obsessive... About putting our rubbish in the bin. Isn't that a normal thing? We've obsessive. Um, <laughs> um, putting rubbish in the bin. I don't think we're obsessive. I think we just do it. And like a lot of do countries, countries fucking don't, don't do it. Yeah, bro. A lot of them are fucking pigs. Yuck. Bro, even America's fucking filthy. Just Remember throw- LA where we were staying? Oh, yeah. LA. Hollywood's uh, disgusting. Uh, they just fucking throw up garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. We're super concerned about not wasting water. My waste tampons, water equally. True. <laughs> That's we waste heaps of water. What do you mean? We'll sit in a shower hungover for like an hour. True. We're, that's wasting water. We have a basic understanding of many cuisines. Oh my oh, goodness! Who wrote very, this fucking article? This is, about, this is news. Is, is hungry jacks here. accusing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys heard the hungry jacks? We're hanging out together. Well, we probably went with someone from Australia. Of course, we're going to hang out with who we came with. We'll jump in the front seat of a cab. Mm. No, not yeah. overseas. I don't trust those overseas Fuck people. No. <laughs> not yeah. Brazil, bro. They're fucking <laughs> crazy motherfuckers. Well, we're wildly frustrated when it comes to paying a bill. Flustered. Yep, that makes more sense. Yeah, we are. On America for tipping. Yeah, for tipping. America is ridiculous. Mm. And they don't have PayWave anywhere. PayPass? Oh, that's like behind. They're behind the times. They're behind. They're like using checks and shit. Mm. Can I fax you the menu? (laughs) Like, what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) (laughs) Idiots. Idiots. Oh, my God. (laughs) I think I was just possessed. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Idiots Fucking the saw. You like, sounded like the saw puppet What's next I like this article We can get a little too festive I think No Have you seen America? So you can spot an Australian Because we're a little too festive Have you seen America In fucking Halloween and shit They're f- a little too festive I think they mean We're getting fucking blind Is that what they're trying to say We're just getting We have to acknowledge mental. The less flattering observations here too It seems we have a bit of A reputation How is that less flattering For being a little loud and boozy We are boozy. That's not less flattering That's more flattering It's an honour to be the drunkest that's of the right. overseas yeah. contingent. I and agree. we're not even. The English ones are probably are, to be honest. We'll go beer. I, I, I hate to give them that, but any any Brits, the UKs, they're fucking... They get loose, bro. They're good. Irish? Yeah, I, would, I would say they're... The Irish? They get loose. They're like, oh, you know, what are you like? I have no idea what you're saying, I'd say bro. would be second best at getting loose. I'd say the Brits, yep. English, Irish, Welsh, Welsh, Welsh <laughs> Scottish, um, then us, then... Americans actually can't drink that hard because they don't even have full strength beer over there. They're like, no. they can't sesh like we sesh. They can go, they can peak like we do, but they can't sesh like we sesh. You know what I mean? We'll go barefoot any chance we get. Frenchie does that. Yeah, I do. You take your shoes off on the plane. It's a coast thing, bro. You're not from movies. the coast. You don't know. Yeah. It's a coast thing. Disgusting. <laughs> the gents like to pop their sunglasses on their hats. Uh, <laughs> what kind of sentence is that? <laughs> the gents. Has that human ever left the house? <laughs> the gents like to pop their sunglasses on their hats. Oh, that was written by a fucking robot. That's a bad. That article. is wow. You Who have never. That? Have you met a human before? Who wrote Look that? Look at those Let's gents with their sunglasses on their hats. Simone Mitchell, no good. Oh, you're an idiot, Simone Mitchell. <laughs> I'm gonna go and throw. A, <laughs> I'm gonna go throw a pat in the bin because of that shit. <laughs> 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 That's my punishment now. Frenchy started wiping his ass with pads. He doesn't give a <laughs> fuck. Well, that's using them. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm going to fucking... That's yeah, that'd be funny. Just wasting pads, just triggering. Just triggering. Just going around triggering. What other stuff could you waste that people would and wouldn't care about? So if I waste food, do you think people care? You should just start doing triggering TikToks. Like when we punched all the cones, did people care? I reckon someone probably would have wrote. I think someone would have yeah, wrote. Written about yeah, wasting. No, you're right. Fuck Do you know how many yeah. ice creams have gone lonely <laughs> and unheld because of you guys punching cones? Homeless people don't have enough ice cream. <laughs> Share the dignity. It's summer somewhere and they are just using cups instead of cones. <laughs> Period cups. Period cups. Okay, let's do triggering TikToks on purpose and we'll talk about it on the podcast. That'll be funny. Yeah, because I did that one video once of... Um, I was like, this is my voice one day after hanging at an Australian train station. 
and then it got more bogan the more mm. it was like a trend mm. and then people were like Australians we don't talk like that I'm like oh, I said bro. at a train station you fucking yeah, idiots like, like they that. didn't get it so then the next video I made was just um Australian facts and I did it as an American mm. I was trying mm. to trigger them and they'd be like Australians actually have foreheads five times larger than bro. the average and just made shit up well that's obvious yeah. did anyone get triggered <laughs> I don't know if you do it like subtle Sunlight. lies, then yeah. they'll get fucking cut. Well, let's, what about wasting condoms? Let's see if the, we can trigger the boys from that too. I don't think guys get it. I don't think they'll get, they're like, oh, he uses condoms. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> Putting makeup on inanimate objects? No, I guess that's not a necessity makeup. It is a necessity for some of them. <laughs> um, what about um, taking my girlfriend's pills until I have a baby? <laughs> <laughs> but they blocked the baby. Oh, no. <laughs> it makes even less sense. More swapping, chance of getting swapping triggered. pills with Tic Tacs would be funny. <laughs> They'll trigger on that. Throwing them down the drain. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I reckon that'd get them. Just throwing anything down the drain. Using my girlfriend's period cup as a regular cup <laughs> until she gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good like times. Think of other female. Good times. It's fucking fruitful in here. Yeah, it is. All right, guys. All right, another guys. week. Another. Another day. Another dollar. That's what we say. Another day. Another dollar. Thanks for coming on this ride with us, oh, guys. We are being on, on, on a bicycle of love and life, and and we just want to share this trip with you. You look and out the window. Who is it? It's Tom and Frenchie bringing you home every weekend. By which I mean Monday. That's beautiful. Um, what do we got coming up, Tom? In the next few weeks, we've got a lot going on. We've got uh, Frenchie's actually going to shit the bed. Maybe. Maybe. If we do the thing, we might. Frenchie's going to get canceled for wearing uh, uh, nothing but pads. It's a new clothing. superhero Frenchie's starting. It's called Padman. 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 And he comes in and he cleans up the periods. Maybe you should do a cooking video and you show That's them how to make pad thai. And you do the exact recipe, but instead of pads. flat noodles, <laughs> you use pads. Oh, well, what about Padman? Okay, so it's a superhero. Mm. And whenever a girl gets peered and she doesn't have like something to do it for, oh, he I comes think. in and as you uh, idea before with the Nerf gun, <laughs> shoots oh. it, <laughs> sticks it up just before she bleeds in class and, er and gets embarrassed. Nah, Padman to the rescue. That's good. And he's got a sidekick and it's Donald Trump. And he slaps him on the pussy <laughs> with a pad. Okay, yeah, like, yeah. Like he's Depends what they the take. Depends yeah, what yeah. they take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we know about the different ways to, to block a block <laughs> a run. After every <laughs> after every podcast, we go. Was that a good one? And like, no, no this one was this not one a good wasn't one. A good one. <laughs> 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 but I mean, we've had a lot of episodes. Oh, we've so had a lot of laughs. You didn't like this one? Go listen to another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one on the plane too. Ooh. Uh, uh, shout out to all you plane listeners. I uh, hope your flight's been good. No yeah. crying babies. Um, bomb now. Bomb now. Bomb now. <laughs> Release. Go pull the fucking emergency exit thing <laughs> just for fun. Suck out some passages. <laughs> Suck off some passages. Oh, what do we want? Oh, I've got one good, more good idea. Okay. Okay. We have to guess what voice is who, who's listening to this on the plane. Who do you think it is? Okay. What type of person? Yeah. Because we're going to have to try to do that voice. Okay. Okay. Do you think it's a bloke? Do you think it's a woman? What do we got for I'm us? I'm going to go with woman. Yep. How um, old? 23. Easy. Hey, would you like to join the Mile High Club? <laughs> yes, you next to me. I'm not, I'm not, my, my, my lips aren't moving, but I'm thinking of you. Let's join the Mile High Club. I'm a ventriloquist and I want to <laughs> suck on your <laughs> dick. <laughs> okay. Thanks for listening. Yeah, because then now, yeah, you got it. Yep, you yep. got it. Okay, yep. see you guys. <laughs>